What's up everyone? In this episode we're going to make talking dialogue portraits. So we're going to have our dialogue portraits um, be animated based on what emotion is playing and what's not, what not. As a prerequisite you're going to need some extra files um, for your character talking. For me I just have um, sans like, it's two frames of him just like moving his mouth. Uh, and I'm just going to make do two of the emotions, the standard one, and then the uh, angry one. Because once you know how to do those two, you can apply it to everything else, like your happy one or your sad one, whatever you have. So I'm just going to do those two, and uh, let's get into it. So there's a couple things that we're going to have to do. We're going to go to our dialogue portrait. Uh, and then we're going to add an animator on there. And so let's create an animator controller. Um, let's be a little lazy and uh, let's make it here. We're going to go down to animator controller. We're going to call this um, dialogue controller. And then we're just going to drag this onto our dialogue portrait. Make sure it's on your dialogue portrait, by the way. And so with that, um, we can move on. And the way we're going to do this is that we're going to have this base dialogue controller. And then we're going to utilize the animator controller override to override the base controller so that we can have... Uh, override the base controller for all of our different characters. And so I'll just show you what that looks like real quick. So we're going to go into... So we're going to be a little sloppy and just make this... put this into here. Um, you should be creating these into special folders and organizing it, but because it's just an example, we're going to be a little messy. And so we're going to go all the way down to Animator Override Controller. And we're going to make this for Sans. So I'll call this like Sans Controller. It should probably be like the character name, then the uh, controller after it. Um, and so let's go into here. I'm just going to show you what, how you can... Um, I'm just going to show you what this looks like. And so in order to create a new clip, so see we can't create a clip here. In order to create a new clip, you have to click on Dialog Portrait, and then it will allow us to create a clip. You just create clip, and then I'm just going to make a quick one. So you don't have to copy this part, just to show you. And then now, if we go to our Sans controller, see our, our animator override controller, and you can know it's a you know it's an override controller because it has a little plus mark in the bottom left corner. And also has like this override thing and this one has nothing. And so if we drag the dialog controller into the controller up here, we'll see new animation and this is what we can override. And so but before we can do any of that, we're going to set it up in our scripts first. So let's go over to our... We're going to need our character profile. And then we're going to do some stuff in um, our dialog manager. Let's just set up um, our animator over our controller. So we're going to go public. You can put this anywhere. Um, public animator override controller. And we'll call this character AOC for animator override controller. Then right off the bat, let's go over to our character profiles. Go to Sans. We can see that we now have a character AOC right here. And so each character is going to need their own override controller. Um, and let's go over to... Where did I put it? Oh, oh over here. Alright, so... We're going to take our Sans controller, 
and drag it into our character AOC for Sans. So you want it to match the um, characters. All right. So now that Sans has his character controller, we can um, set it up real quick. So Sans is gonna have for this specific example, we're just gonna do the standard, and we're going to do the angry. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new animation. But you see how we can't create a new animation clip. It says no animatable object selected. You actually have to click on the dialog portrait where your animator is. And it's going to have this pop up. And we're going to create a new clip. We're going to create one called not talking. And then, so now that it disappeared, but we can still create one. If you go over here, hit create new clip. And we're going to make another one called angry. And then make another one called standard. And it's really important that these are the same name. Just to reemphasize. And it's really important that these are the same name as your emotion types, the exact same. Alright. So now that we have that, we're going to create a new boolean in our parameters over here. And what's this plus sign? Create new boolean. We'll call it is talking. And we're going to make a transition to not talking. And so we're, we're going to basically call these animation clips. And then once they're done, they're automatically going to go back to not talking. We don't want that yet. So we're going to go, go to conditions and click the plus sign. It's going to say is talking to false. So once we're done talking, it's going to go back down to not talking. All right. And then we're going to unclick has exit time. And so that way that it'll go immediately to not talking once our character is done talking. So now that I have all this set up, we can now go into our code. We'll go into our dialog manager here. First of all, we need to actually connect our animator, right? So we're going to go over here. We're going to make a public. We'll call it, uh, we'll go to animator and call it anim. And we're going to hook it up manually just because it's easier that way. Um, we we'll go to our dialog manager over here. And we're going to find our dialog portrait because it has the animator on it. And we're going to drag it into anim. And so now it's hooked up to our dialog portrait animator. So it's hooked into this. So now that I have this hooked up, we can now start messing around with it. Um, first of all, we're not going to need dialog portraits. We're not going to need to set this here anymore. So basically, we're not going to need dialog portrait dot sprite equal to info character my portrait because we're our character gonna be talking and so we're gonna set this at the very end when the character is done talking and so we can put two slashes there and it'll basically um, take out the code it will not read it and so now we are going to do anim Dot enable equals true. You might be thinking, well, it's already enabled. Why are we enabling again? And so we're doing this because um, when our character is done talking, we're going to disable our animator. And so that, because we don't need it anymore. And next, we're going to set our runtime animator controller. This is basically just our animator. And we're going to override it with our override animator controller, remember, that we made? So each character has a character AOC, character animator override controller, 
and we're basically then going to override our animator. And we're just going to be utilizing the base of it, but we're going to replace all the clips to what we want. And so now we can do anim.play and we're going to play info dot oops, info dot character emotion so remember this is our emotion types let's go over here so this is what we're calling right here well not we're not calling it but we're gonna be returning one of these three and so it's not going to accept that because it wants a string, but we can cast it to string. And that's why it's very important that these, the names of these clips here are exactly the same as the emotion types that we have. And last but not least, I'll actually put this before we play the clip. Um, we'll do anim.setbool. is talking to true and so remember we made this boolean here is talking as a parameter we're going to set that to true and so it's not going to go back down to not talking by default it's going to keep it here and loop until it's ready to go back to not talking and so we have one last thing we need to do we're actually going to create a new method We'll put it over here. Or we'll call it private void done talk. No, let's call it finish talking. Be more consistent. Finish talking. And we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to do anim. What? Anim dot. Anim dot set bool is talking to false and then we're going to and do anim dot enabled false but there's another thing that we need to do so remember I said we disabled this dialog portrait dot sprite you're not using it anymore so we're going to set it somewhere I want to set it here but we don't have access to the dialog based on info. So how are we going to get the information from our informa info? Well, we can store it into a variable. We're going to make a private sprite, uh, last sprite. Because we all we need is a sprite that we used and we're going to set last sprite equal to info dot character dot my portrait and basically that's going to store this uh, information to last sprite and now we can use it other places like our finished talking so now here we can actually set the sprite of our dialog um, portrait sprite it's going to equal to last sprite so once it's done talking it's going to make this sp the sprite the right one all right and now we actually have to put this in the appropriate place because we just made this method but we're not actually using it anywhere and we're going to set it in two places one is here finish talking and then we're also going to set it in here because when we're done with when we're done with the text, well, we can finish talking. Then once there's no more characters here, this is going to loop until there's no more characters. And it's okay. Well, there's no more characters. Then we're done talking. All right. Now that we have that, there's one last thing we need to do. That's all the code we need. But there's still one last thing we need to do. We never set up the animator override controller, remember? Alright, so this is our base and now we actually have to make the animator override controller. 
So let's go over to our SANS controller over here. Remember, this is our override controller because of the plus sign. And I've already gone ahead and um, dragged the dialog controller over here to the controller. And you know it's working when you have a bunch of um, options to override or clips to override. And so this will be a little tricky. It's gonna be a little. This, this part's a little monotonous, but we we'll have to get through it. We're gonna create new clips for every um, motion for sands, and these uh, clips they don't have to be the same, exactly the same as um, your motion types. You can name it whatever you want, but make it something that you understand, obviously. So we're going to make it sans um, standard, and then we create a new one called sans angry. All right. So with this, we're going to drop it down to twelve. This so it's slower. Sixty is like really fast. Um, we're going to go over to our portraits and we have our my, or my portraits that I have here already set up. Um, you're going to do that yourself. And so I'm going to drag these two frames here, Sans Angry 1 and Sans Angry 2, and then once we're done with that, um, I can delete it. And go over to Sans Standard, and drop it down to 12, um, Sans Standard 1, Stands there too. So every time you make a new motion or new clip for your motion, you have to create a new clip here. And you can delete it afterwards once you're done. And then now, now that we've done that, we can go over to our SANS controller. And we're going to take the SANS standard and put it to the standard. And then we can put sans angry into angry. And we're never going to put anything in not talking. That's always going to be empty. So now that that's all done, it should work now. We're just going to create a new dialog because we didn't set up for sans or papyrus. We only set up for sans. So we're only going to use sans. I'm going to say sans um, talking test. I have a bunch of tests here, and I should probably delete them. But I'm going to make two. Uh, put sans in here, both of them. I'm going to say I am standard and not angry at all. Hello world, it's time for me to stop talking. And then we're going to change this to angry. We're going to say, ah, now I am angry. Um, hello. It's time for me to stop talking. And just for just to make it not look weird, I'm just going to drag angry into here um, just updating his new angry face because this was his old angry face and you know this doesn't look right now that I have a actual angry face for him you know might as well just use it but it should work now um, let's double check everything we have this set here we have uh, this set here and check our override controller we have a set there we forgot to put the new dialog in that's right. I always forget something. Sans talking test. Here we go. Uh, don't mind the little S there for the knob. Actually, I'll just leave that right now. I was uh, doing something earlier. Just so that you don't get confused, I'm going to delete this. And I delete that, hitting Control X to delete a line. Alright, now it should actually work. 
for all your emotions, um, this is gonna take a little bit of time to do, obviously, but once you have it set up for all your characters, um, it should be pretty automatic. Though there is one thing, if you don't have your animated controller set up for a character, um, it's gonna throw an error, most likely, I mean, like, 90% sure it's gonna throw an error. If you don't have an anime controller, anime override controller set up, so what you can do is you can probably like have a little um, if statement here. I'm not gonna do it like fully, but um, let's say actually, you know what? Why not? I'll 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 do it. Um, I'm gonna say if uh, going to info dot character dot animated control or character AOC. If this is equal to null, actually wait, if this is not equal to null, um, and then we're going to take in all this code that we just made, and we'll say else, then we'll have to set this portrait here. out here and then delete that. Actually I don't want to see him angry. Maybe confuse people. So let's uh, set him to standard. Um, but as you can see here if I hit next line he stops talking immediately or he stops you know moving his mouth. Do it again, something his mouth and then yeah, so now it doesn't change. So, with that, you can have your. If you have some character that doesn't talk for some reason, I mean, if the dialogue pops up, then obviously he's talking. But let's say um, it's a minor character and you don't want to animate him talking, he, he'll just not move his mouth. Or just, we'll just go back to the old ways that we did it. Alright guys, so let's end the video. Um, I'd like to thank my patrons, Bay, Emerson, Kirijo, Polybius, and Yoan. Um, thanks for being my patron. Uh, you can be a patron too if you go to my patron page, patreon.com slash devbird. There you can become a patron and um, send me messages and I'll reply. Um, so, used used to be that you need to be a patron to get into my discord but I decided to just make it open to everyone so I have a link in the description and so just join discord and uh, that's about it see you guys later